in the zeitgeist this morning is the great fear, and you're certainly qualified to address the fear. In New Zealand, the virus returns, maybe on a measured basis, but nevertheless returns. And at Chapel Hill, the University of North Carolina has made an abrupt shift because the virus just simply won't go away. I don't want to talk about a second or third wave, but is it delusional to believe you can get social again once you get control of cases and deaths? Uh, good morning. Uh, so I think it's um, vital in a way that we uh, don't let ourselves be um, controlled by the fear of this virus. Um, so certainly the virus is still with us. There's absolutely no doubt about that. We're seeing spikes of cases wherever lockdown is being relaxed. I think what we have to do is learn to live with the virus so that we have to all learn how to take measures for ourselves, how to keep ourselves and each other safe. Um, but I think the idea that we can live in lockdown forever, it, right. it just can't happen. Do you see, this is a really important question, folks, and this, of course, deals with everyone with kids going back to school. Are we asking too much? Are we trying to find a medical perfection that doesn't exist? I think there is something in that, yeah. I mean, certainly, so kids going back to school, we're definitely going to see some spikes and, uh, you know, the idea that young people don't get the virus is, is just not true. Uh, young people certainly do get the virus and they pass it on and some of them, you know, are, are get sick with it. Um, so uh, it, we, we are not going to anytime soon get to the point where we can go back to what we all considered normal uh, previously. So we have to, as I say, we have to learn to live with it. But Pamela, what do we know and not know about the virus? So do we know if people that have had it are definitely protected? Uh, do we know if you can fight it with T cells? And do we know if actually this thing is mutating or not? So we know that people who get the virus do develop antibodies, and there is um, some work that does suggest that those antibodies are neutralizing. The, what we don't know is whether those antibodies actually do protect you from reinfection, um, and we don't know how long they're going to they're gonna last. Coronavirus's antibody response generally doesn't last very long, maybe a year um, in, in, in most people. Um, the T cell response certainly does seem to be important, and many of the vaccine strategies that are um, uh, you know, coming into uh, trials at the moment are, are also considering making sure that the, the T cell response works as well. Um, the uh, virus, we're certainly tracking uh, the mutations. There's a lot of good work being done um, in the United Kingdom and, and elsewhere um, to look at how the virus is changing. And, and certainly the, you know, that we have seen mutations from it uh, originating in, in China and um, you know, moving across uh, Southeast Asia and um, into Europe. And, and the virus has mutated um, in that time. Now, we don't know what that mutation particularly means. You know, there were some suggestions at the, at the beginning that the mutation, um, as it got to Europe, uh, made it more virulent. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't think that has been proven. It seems to make it more transmissible, so it can pass from person to person mm -hmm. more easily. But whether it makes it um, a more severe infection, mm -hmm. um, it, it isn't proven at all. Um, and, you know, the, the, the usual but way the virus is, is, is that as they mutate, they, they become less severe, so they sort of attenuate. So we just, you know, we, we need to track it. We need to monitor it very carefully. On the antibodies, if it's unclear whether you're protected once you have antibodies, does it mean that we could never have? A, we could also potentially never have a vaccine. Uh, I, I think you know the, the elements of the T cell um, part of the vaccine as well. Um, it, it, potentially, it could mean if, there, if you know there's no immunity to this virus, then then a, a vaccine wouldn't work. But I think that's very unlikely to happen. And and you know. I think worst case scenario is that a vaccine may not be fully protected, but it may make for a less severe disease. That's an, you know, it's not an ideal thing with a vaccine, but it would be better than the situation we have at the moment. So, you know, I think um, that the likelihood is that, that 
there will be some protection, perhaps just not very long-lived, and we might be in a situation where we need to vaccinate people on an annual basis against uh, this virus.